Hey, what's up everyone? We're now on tutorial part 4, which is pretty awesome. Now, once you're done rendering your box, it looks pretty sweet so far. You can see it come crashing down. Look at that. That is awesome. Look at that. <laughs> Boom. Let's see all the cracks. That looks pretty sweet. Okay, so now that we are ready to export to After Effects, let's just check one more thing. Check the time configuration. Make sure it's still at 24. Now, one more thing you want to do before exporting is go to Rendering. Go to Environment. And where I had you have uh, the sequence app, you want to click on that and go to None. And change the color to white like I had before. And what that does is when you render out, it just saves the object behind a white material instead of, you know, rendering out the whole picture frame, which could take a much longer time. So now we're ready to render. Go to Render Setup. And you'll be open to this sweet tab. Look at that. This video is turning out awesomer than I thought. First, you want to do is set it to active time segment, which that which can uh, get all of each keyframe. And usually, you set it to HDTV, but we're just going to set it to custom for now since it's very basic. I'm going to set it to 640 by 480, something just really small. And we're actually going to go to save file. And what you want to do is just I'm actually going to save it to my documents, and uh, as you can see, I already have it saved. Now, save as f file type. You want to click on that and save it as a PNG image file, so that way After Effects can work with it and everything, and everything say OK. Then click on Save, and uh, everything will look pretty good. And Rayfire will all be, be in here. You don't really have to do much to that. So that's good. And then when you're done, just click Render. So when you go back to After Effects, you can import your segment by going to File. You can also hit Control i if you didn't know that. And go to the place destination in which you saved your 3ds Max. Image. You can see them, they're all right here. They're all titled Awesome because, don't worry, this video is awesome. You click on the first uh, image sequence, click open. Now, the first thing you want to do, real quick, is right click it, go to Interpret Footage, and click Main. And you want to make sure the frame rate, look at that, it changed on us to 30. You want to change it back to 24 because that's the same frame rate as our other video. So if you go down and drag it, put it on top, and if you just scrub through here, look at that. The video is staying perfectly in line, it looks awesome, and boom, it just explodes. Look at that. That, that looks pretty sick, if you ask me. But let's just change the color of it. We're going to type in curves. We're going to change the color of this, and uh, let's actually go to red. And go down over to blue. I'm actually going to make it actually reset that. Go over to the blue tab and just kind of make it a blue cool color. Which could be cool. That looks pretty good. So it just kind of changes the color and whatnot. And uh, also, what you can do is type in flare. And we're just going to use a very basic lens flare, not optical flares, but just a basic one because everyone has this one and we're actually gonna go lens type go to 10, 105 that that looks pretty good go to 105 prime and you can put it in the lens flare and let's see we're gonna keyframe this so we're actually gonna keyframe it when it, the box is about to blow up so it kinda looks pretty interesting so right here is when it's about to blow up so Set the blend with original to zero and click one, two, three, and then go back to a hundred. Actually, click on this, hit U, 
can see it's right here and you just see a bright light so let's delete that so it looks pretty good let me show you that one more time okay so actually I start off in zero hit the keyframe it's about right here goes back to zero one two three one hundred so actually it doesn't show up till and what you can do is hit control C and then hit control D and that just makes another one my bad I wanted to make a duplicate of the lens flare so hit control C and then control D and that just makes another lens flare we're gonna hit U again, double tap U and you can scroll this to make it a little bit bigger and we're actually just gonna, if you select all of these, we're actually just gonna move it to a different spot how about right over here that looks pretty good and hit control D we'll make a, another one let's see about right here Okay, bada bada bang, bada boo. We'll just move this one. How about right over here? And that looks pretty good. So now, if you hit U again, you can. Uh, now, what we have here is if you scrub through the timeline, you can see the box just kind of moving around, and right before it blows up these crazy weird looking lens flares just come out of nowhere and somehow activate the box and just kinda blow it up just kinda just kinda add some more cool effects to it which which kinda helps the video now that looks pretty good Let's see how that works that, that looks pretty good look at that Doo -doo -doo. so yeah that looks pretty awesome and uh yeah that everything looks awesome very awesome really cool so what we did in here in after effects is we just changed the color add some lens flare and uh, everything looks a-okay the one key thing you always want to make sure when dealing with other programs is just make sure that the frames per second is always the same number because you never you know in case uh, you didn't have the same number and say this was actually at 30 then that means that your video wouldn't you know stick with it and it wouldn't stay and that can just cause a lot of problems so that could be bad so once you have your video done and everything if you want to add more effects and whatnot I just started off with a very basic you can go to composition at the render queue click on that and uh, you can just save it and that looks pretty good. Make sure it's on 24. Lossless. You can now change the format. I'm actually going to use QuickTime Movie. And go to Format Options. And just wait till it pops up. Go to Animation Depth. We actually want to change it instead of millions of colors, millions of colors plus. And that just makes the video a little bit better. And uh, that, looks, that looks pretty good and output you can change the output I'm gonna actually change this to guess what super awesome look at that and uh, just click render and it renders your whole video sequence so uh, yeah I'm glad you guys got to watch all this I hope you learned something the main thing I just wanted to teach you all is the basics of you know exporting and importing from many different programs and that was the basic principle I might be making more tutorials on a lot more cooler more you know in-depth action explosion type stuff but for this one I just wanted to show you exactly what you needed to do when importing exporting and all the different key features so uh, until next time keep it real everyone